Three things to do if he's not texting back right away. Stellar. Or he's not texting a lot. First of all, let's talk about what not to do. Do not bitch and complain about how he doesn't text a lot and doesn't text right back at you. Because what you're failing to understand that if you are a girl who is mostly in your mind logical, you're keeping tabs on how fast and this, masculine energy overdrive women do too much and do too soon and then overdo to secure his ass so you think. And that's why you do too much. That's why every time you text him, you text him a fucking paragraph. That's why it gives your heart and you give him like a few different emojis. Look back at all that you're doing compared to what he's doing. Balance it out and shift the ratio for every three that he gives, give back a little. As opposed to give seven and he gives you a second. You need to withdraw or back your energy because you gotta understand the more intense you are about what he's not doing, that's your energy you magnifying pushing him out there and up there in the world and making him more fuel. When you take back your energy and you withdraw your energy and you go redirect that into yourself and you go do things that make you really happy and you get all meshed up in that, the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to pull his ass to you because you're filled with joy. So it's that needy energy that you have because you're angry because you can't really be angry with someone you don't need, that's going to drop. So he's all of a sudden going to be floating out in the ethers going, oh, I don't feel she needs me. It's going to make him secure. You're going to be happy as shit. So that's going to be cut off in energy. And now he's going to be pulled to That's a lot different than just, I know a lot of guys don't like the shit of you going back to him, texting him and bitching and complaining. But I don't believe it's the answer also to just be light and fluffy. It's like, oh, hi, while you suffocate and swallow that anger, it's about transmuting that and looking at why that anger is there in the first place. The first place it's there is because you gave too much to begin with. And you gave too much because you're a masculine energy overdrive, which means you never think you're enough. Because you're not attached to your feminine energy, which knows she's a high value. So just very little until she gets a lot. Kind of like the way you organ. So he will feel that lightness of being, that mystical energy. You're being so happy. And then, then the biggest, most powerful thing to do, because you'll be authentically really, really happy and really thrilled with your life, even though you're really happy to hear from him, is you'll keep it short and sweet. You, you'll, you'll be exuberant with your joy, it'll overspill to him. That'll fuel him in terms of not you needing him, but that'll fuel him to say, oh, wow, I'm hungry for more of that. That's why people always want to be around you when you're happy. That's why you get him. That's why things are easy. But that's not just it. Here's the biggest gem. When you keep it short and sweet and you're realistically really, really happy like a puppy, the first thing that's going to go through a guy's mind, number one, she's happy. Why is she happy? And number two, how is it she could be happy without me? Hmm. Got to dive in there. You've got to understand because guys take credit. When they have a woman that's amazingly on her throne, happy, shining, and powerful, they're like, that's my woman. Meaning they feel responsible because in short, they are responsible for creating an environment in which you can be happy, but not if you don't relish that kind of existence and not if you met him being in sacrificial, handmade and beggar energy. And therefore, you met a guy who needs a lot and you have to feed his emotion, do, 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 be his nurse, be his teacher, be his bank manager, be his psychiatrist, be his cook, be his trainer, and then heal him of his shit and fix him for the next bit. Remember, it's not just switching to do that which will manipulate him to come. There's a gem of a lesson there, and it is for you. And when guys are doing something that doesn't agree with you, it means you don't agree with you, but you're overlooking it. And so they will overlook you. Boom. The most important thing when you're dealing with man is to understand the animal of what you're dealing with. They're so adorable. And that is that their healthy ego, healthy ego, will first ask, why are you happy? Followed by thinking, how could she possibly be happy without me? Which will make him have to take a closer look at the gem that he has because he just realized that you don't need him, which means he needs you to need him. So that will activate constant calling, constant texts, as long as you are in your feminine energy and do not need to hear back to reassure that you are value. When you know you are value and you're in feminine energy and you're a busy bee in your life, going out of this flower, this flower, and that flower, you soar in terms of a scent, powerful shit.